Baltimore, Cactus 2169, Cross Clipper at 1000, Baltimore, 3067. And uh, Cactus 2169, welcome to 17 Lima Hotel. It's a 2001 Meridian Megat equipped, as you can see. And uh, there's quite a bit of uh, confusion, it seems, on uh, this yaw damper and how to use it. Uh, remember that when the yaw damper is in the auto, posi auto position, auto position, the yaw damper comes on and off with the autopilot. So if the autopilot's in front flight, flight director only, the yaw damper is off. Maintain when the flight director, auto, when the autopilot master is in the autopilot position, the yaw damper is on. And this is a functional way to use this autopilot because uh, it will remove the yaw damper when you're uh, not wanting to use it, as in takeoffs and landings. Comes off with the autopilot. Now then, as far as the uh, the damper amplifier goes and the adjustment to the, to the yaw damper trim, uh, the correct way to do that is to turn off the yaw damper, center the ball, I will do that using the electric rudder trim switch here, center the line vertically on the yaw damper uh, amplifier. Leaving it's it's level a one vernier, zero, actually. Now then we'll zero. turn the yaw damper back on and note any change to the position of the ball. Now step on the ball. So to, to accomplish that now with the the vernier, we're going to turn the knob clockwise to, to get right rudder. And we're going to gently turn and wait a few seconds and just rat, ratchet it over there just a few degrees each time till the ball's center again. Now when you turn the yaw damper on and off, the ball remains stationary, and that's all there is to it. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah, I enjoyed talking with you, with you this morning. Let's take a bounce forward. Fly safely. Train off. 1161, I'm sorry if that was for me. I missed it. Yeah, 1161, contact New York Center. It's 134.32. They will get you back on course. 134.32. Thanks. Good day, sir.